Hello guys, my name is Lazaro and today we're going to be doing a decode problem. This problem is called Merge in Between Linked Lists. You're given two linked lists, list 1 and list 2 of sizes N and M respectively. Now this right here already tells me that both lists would not have the same size. They could have the same size, but they might not have the same size. Remove list 1's nodes from the 8th node to the bth node and put list 2 in their place. Okay, so we want to remove everything from the 8th node to the bth node. That means that we care about the position of every single node. So instead of looking at the, at the value of that node, we want to look at the position of that node. The blue edges and nodes in the following diagrams indicate the result. Alright, so let's now actually look at this. Uh, let's look at the first example. Here, list 1 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then list two is a million, million one, and a million two. A is three, B is four. They made it pretty easy for us by making the value of each node correspond to the index. So if A is three, then we want to remove this node right here. And we want to go from three all the way to B. And since B is four, it's just these two right here. So we kind of want to take these two out and shove list two right where they are. And here in the second example, the exact same thing. We want to remove everything from position two to position five. And in its place, let's insert list one. So let's, I'm going to write out this first example. Now list one. Oops, starts off like this, one, I mean zero, one, two, three, four, five. We want to remove three and four. And then we have list two, which is Let's just call it seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So what, what do we want to look at here? Well, we know we're going to be inserting list two. Uh, let's call this L2 right here. This is L1. There we go. That's L1. If we know we're going to be inserting list 2, then there's two things we want to keep hold of. We, don't, we want to keep hold of the head, and we also want to keep hold of the tail. Because as soon as we reach... Let me close this card. As soon as we reach an index... Let me also write out what A and B is. Sorry about that. A is equal to 3. B is equal to 4. As soon as we reach an index where the index I is equal to A minus 1, we want to change that pointer at that index. So in this case, A is 3. So 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. As soon as we reach index 2, let's update its pointer to point at the head of list 2. So let's change this pointer, and make it point to the head of list 2. Then as soon, uh, on the other case, as soon as we reach an index that's equal to B, so an index that is 4, right here, let's make the tail of list 2 point to that node. Therefore, if we were to return this list, we would be getting 0, 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 5. Because we change the pointer of 2 to point at the head of the second list, and we change the tail of the second list 
to point to the node after B. And that's really all we want to do for, for this problem. The main thing is to keep track of the head of the second list and the tail of the second list. And at the, uh, at the proper indices, change the pointers to point to the head and then change the tail node to point to the node after B. So now that we know how to solve this, let's get right into programming. So head is going to be equal to just list two, because list two is already pointing at the head. And tail, this for now set it equal to none, but let's iterate over list two. And while we're iterating over it, let's be updating the tail. So after this runs, we have both the head and tail of the second list. Now we want to keep track of the index, just in case list one is not perfect like this. Let's say list one could be five, seven, eight, twelve, and such. In this case, uh, five does not represent its proper index. Five is actually index zero. So we want to use this outside variable to keep track of that. Also, let's have a answer variable look at the head of list one so we can return that later on. Now, while list one, if the, in the current index we're on plus one is equal to A, then let's save the next nodes in a temporary variable. And let's update the current pointer and make it point at the head of list two. And let's continue iterating over those uh, remaining nodes. Else, if i is equal to b, then tail dot next is going to be equal to list one dot next. And this is exactly what we talked about right here. I is if it, I is equal to B right here. So at this four right here, let's make the tail point at the next node after four. Now another way you, you can do it is if I is equal to B plus one, so plus one, that'll make I equal to five. And it'll be the exact same thing. So either way, uh, it will work out. But this is just the way I did it. Now, once we update the the tail of list two, then we're completely done and we can break out of this while loop. But if none of those if conditions are met, then let's just continue iterating through list one. And let's remember to constantly be incrementing our index position. Now let's return answer. So let's see if we made any errors by submitting. Okay, we did it. Let's submit. And perfect, it gets accepted. So hopefully you guys were able to understand this problem and this video helped you. If it didn't, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But other than that, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you.